So this is the stone that we'll be gathering in our inventory. It's an item, resource, stone. Okay, let's make another one. Um, let's just duplicate this one. Let's call it BP underscore item underscore uh, branch. And there should be a twig, I guess. Yeah, okay. So there's a twig, twig, twig. Let's maybe use this one, like a standard twig. And we're just changing this to twig. And it weights 100 grams per one. And max stack is also 100. And it's branch. Okay. Mm. Let's call it branch. Or twig. Twig is fine. I kind of like twig. Let's change it in the data table. Mm. Let's save it. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's no longer, no longer valid. It's a twig now. So we got twigs uh, and stone. And now the last one is the plant fiber. That's going to be a tricky one. Uh, item plant fiber. Now, how can a plant fiber look when you drop it? Let's go back here and let's find something that could fit it. Meshes. Definitely nothing from here so far. I mean, something like hay would be amazing. Maybe here. Mm. Okay, that's a bit challenging. Let's go back here. Meshes, I mean, maybe in props. Mm, definitely not. Mm, yeah, let's just use one of those plants. Uh, Maybe this. I mean, this is the most. Okay, that's the most basic grass I could get. Simple collision doesn't have one. Okay. Does have a complex collision. Let's add a simple collision and let's see. That's the best he can do. Okay, let's just save it. Uh, so plant fiber, we're going to set this and we're doing exactly the same except this is plant fiber and we call it plant fiber. Compile save. And it doesn't matter how that mesh is being called, um, but it would be more consistent if we actually go here and rename all of those into mesh. And they have the same uh, settings for collision because we instead of recreating them we just made a copy.
So that's a lot faster. So now we need those word actors, right? Mm, so we got this word actor that we want to have also a, a static mesh. And we want the static mesh to be the root. Let's make it stone small. Uh, rock small one, okay. Uh, and let's go into construction script and say static mesh set mesh. Uh, and we want this static mesh. You know what? We could have this as a template. Word actor, let's make it template will be easier. So we will make a new variable, let's call it meshes. Let's make it a static mesh uh, object reference, but we want soft object reference array. And now I don't think we can do async functions. Mm. get a copy max no length uh, random integer in range from zero to maximum and can we load nope we can't do this in the construction script okay so scroll it it's not going to be construction script let's just take it even the graph Let's do it on begin play. So, uh, get random mesh reference. I'll just get random mesh. Uh, Just cast it to static mesh, it will be easier for us to handle later. Okay, a static mesh. So uh, we want to get random mesh, and when we get the random mesh, we want to just set it. So that's it for now. Let's say that we got two meshes. Small rock. Small rock too. So now if I just place this actor here and I hit like simulate, it can change to a different actor, but it's still the same type of actor. So now mm, we go here, meshes. Uh, and go to the static mesh and we need to change our uh, collision preset say that yes we can step on because this is not going to be simulating physics ever so we can just collide with it and it is blocking interaction because we want interaction with this object so mm, okay so that's it we got a uh, blueprint that is randomizing create a child. Let's do pp world uh, stone. And this could actually be a gameplay because this is a template. I mean, we should actually have a new folder which is called base or core even. I would call it base. And base is also this and we should move it to base and this should go to base as well and it's an interface so this is okay uh, okay so we got three items and we should have new folder called items let's give it a new color let's say red blueprints those three 
goes here. And those are world items, so it's... Um, uh, world placeable, let's move it into items and let's go here and move this into world placeable. Okay, so we got stone. Stone is just default. Mm, we can open this. Yeah, you know what? I can move this back to blueprints. Uh, so I can just open this and say, oh yeah, this should be exposed and it should be exposed on spawn. And actually, while this is happening, it's also important this component is replicated. So changes to it will be replicated as well. And this interactor is replicated. Same goes for our items. So if we go here into item, we need to make sure that our items are replicated. So they are replicated, uh, not net load of client, use owner's relevancy, and replicate movement. Same here, bow, 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 and bow, 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 bow. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they, they are now replicated and working on multiplayer. So we got world stone, let's maybe do uh, a world twig and by the way if I go here open full show inherited we got meshes if I add more how does small rocks generic look like like this okay and this Oh, this is much nicer. Let's maybe add this to the bunch. Okay. And if we go back here, items, word placeable, word twig, open blueprint. Uh, let's change this to have more relevant miniature. Mm. How did you force refresh uh, of the miniature? Oh, it did itself, so it's fine. Okay, so we go here, meshes, and we just do twig, uh, twig, twig, three, twig, four, Five, and there are some other tweaks but they are from maybe United Assets okay so five different types of tweaks and the uh, exact same settings for uh, collision and blocking and everything's fine so we got two word actors that we can interact with in theory so let's place a few of them Let's place a rock here, a rock here, and a rock here, and some twigs over here. Okay, let's get those five twigs just a bit up from the ground. And the rocks, they can be in the ground, it doesn't really matter that much, but we can just lift them up a little bit. Okay, and if we save the map, now if I hit play, I should see those rocks here, here, that's great. And there are some tweaks here, but I can't interact with them yet. And I don't see that they would be blocking my interaction view mm. and 
nothing else is. So I wonder why is that? Let's check. So this will be easier. Custom query and physics, that's fine. Interaction block, yes. Uh, in 427, there's just some really weird stuff when it comes down to. Uh, oh, or oh, maybe I should test it in single player. Maybe that's the issue. Oh, yeah, I get blocking properly. And you know what? I should even do here um, print string that lasts for zero seconds and just prints the object name. And of course, it prints only if the bug is true. And now I can see that I am aiming at the rack or not. Uh, a twig okay the twigs are not working but the stone is okay uh, you know what actually the line trace should be a little bit longer for this to uh, hit mm. Huh. Should probably overextend it. Uh, it will be easier if I just skip this and go directly here for now and just say hit actor is this. So now we're not doing the visibility check, just the check if it blocks uh, proper trace type. Okay, so those tweaks probably don't have uh, any collision setting on them. So we need to update them. And let's see, collision, sam sample, none. Okay, that's terrible. Collision, add box, simple collision, great. Collision, add box, great. Collision, box, collision box okay that's a bit gigantic let's maybe not do the box let's do collision and other shape okay that's better collision definitely a shape Nah, not so bad they can be bigger than the actual asset that doesn't really matter that much and for the world stone i don't really like this one, let's just delete it. Mm, okay, so stone three, stone, stone two, twig, twig three, twig four, twig five. Okay, I can I can see them. I know they are there, but I can't interact with them yet. But I want to. So let's do interaction now. <laughs> 